What's up guys, the tech spy here, and today in this video, I'm going to be showing guys how to set any song as a ringtone on your iPhone. Custom ringtones for free, no Joe break, and yes, it works on iOS 18. All right, so iOS 18 is here. We thought maybe we'd see some new ringtones, but we still have the same old ringtones from 4000 BC. Now, putting on a custom ringtone on your iPhone is cool, but what about protection? That's where our sponsor, Smart Devil, comes in. Strong. This is the Dust Free Box Series fingerprint resistant and smooth touch and installation screen protector. Now I will be giving away one of these boxes to you guys. I'll show you guys how to enter the giveaway shortly. But first, I'm going to be installing the screen protector in under 30 seconds. Fight! Disinfect, clean, and remove any dust. Place your iPhone in the case facing down. Cover and pull, stick so cool. Whoa, you can't even see it's there. That is a perfect fit. That's crazy. It feels so smooth on the iPhone. Dude, this is the craziest screen protector I ever used. Now again, I will be giving away this box full set over here. To enter the giveaway, simply like, comment, and share the video. I will announce the giveaway winner two weeks from now, and you will get a personal message if you win. Good luck to everyone in the giveaway, and if you don't win, don't worry. If you use the code the tech spot at checkout, or just click on the Amazon link in the description, you will get 25% off on your purchase. Thanks to Smart Devil for supporting the channel, and keep me making cool videos. Alright, so the first thing that you want to do is open up the App Store. Simply going to tap on the search on the bottom right, and over here you just want to go and type in GarageBand. So there it is over here. I'll put a link down below in the description as well. Download over here. And this is basically how we are going to make our ringtones. Don't worry, the steps are super simple. All right, and now that we have GarageBand, we can move to the next step, which is basically downloading the songs. So I can't really show you how to download songs due to copyright reasons, but you can just look up any MP3 downloader and you should be good to go. So if I open up Safari, it does have a built-in downloader. So there you guys can see I typed in NCS MP3 and it brings up their whole catalog of copyright-free music. Now, this is copyright free music so they actually do have a download button so it's free to use now they do have many more tracks i can download over here as well anyways i'm going to play a track that sounds pretty cool now i'm gonna hit download and then once more over here just like that we are now downloading it and you guys can see if i tap on this little arrow and go to downloads i can see the download right there tap on the little magnifying glass and i'll show you exactly where it saved it all right, so if I go in and tap on it, you guys can see it will play it. And I can move this wherever I want on my iPhone if I want to do that. Just by selecting move over there. And from here, I can move it. Let's say I just want it on my iPhone. So I select on my iPhone and just hit copy. There, now it's on my iPhone. Now, before I go into setting the ringtone, I also want to show you guys alternate ways to basically get MP3 files for your ringtones. So one way is you can open up your favorite music streaming app, choose any song of your liking, bring down Control Center and start a screen recording and just go ahead and and play the song for 30 seconds. 30 seconds is the maximum length the ringtone can be. So yeah, just go ahead and play the song for 30 seconds. And then afterwards, once it's done, stop the screen recording. All right, and from here, I have a few apps that guys can use to just get more ringtones and songs. So the first one is called Ringtone Maker. Let's go ahead and open this up. Again, all these will be linked down below in the description. It does show an ad, just go ahead and close out of it. And from here, if you go ahead and tap on the plus button right there on the main page, you guys could see, you could choose a video from your video library. Just go ahead and and tap on that screen recording and hit done. Now you guys can see the video populated over there, but from here we simply need to convert it to an MP3 because right now it's a video. So tap on the little arrow and you guys can see it says extract audio. You can go ahead and tweak with any of these settings if you want to increase the quality or the volume or anything of that nature. But I'm just going to go over here and just hit this button over here to export it as MP3 and just hit start. It's completely free. Don't worry. And just like that, now we do have the new MP3 file. From here again, we can hit that little arrow and then you guys can see it has an option to share. 
And in the share panel, you want to scroll down until you see save to files app. So tap right there. Again, save it wherever you want. Okay, browse. I'm just going to keep it on my iPhone and just hit save. And now if we go ahead and open up the files app, let me go back and go back on my iPhone. And yeah, I can see the new MP3 file right over here. So, and don't worry about if the song didn't play directly from the start because in GarageBand, we're going to be trimming it. Anyways, back in the first app, there's also a ringtone tab right there. So you can also go ahead and download ringtones directly from over here as well. Oh my god, will you help me build a snowman? Piece of shit. It's time to drag your ass. Okay, so yeah, these are pretty wacky ones. It also has a bunch of wallpapers. But anyways, to the next app. Now, this is basically the same thing as the other one. But if you prefer this one instead, then you can use this too. So if I hit the plus button, I can import from video, import from PC. Which if you do, all you gotta do is just go and copy this URL on your PC and get transfer files. There's also ringtone sharing and more. Now, I'm not gonna go too into depth into that. But again, it's basically the same as the first app, basically. And there's a third app. So this one basically has a ton of songs. Hosier Too Sweet. So... Look at that. Here are some free songs. So you got Michael Jackson. You got a bunch right here too. Yeah. Anyways, moving on to the last app. This one right here. And this is a little workaround. I'm going to show you guys to basically have access to free ringtones in here. So all I got to do is force touch on it. And here you guys can see there's an option to try limited version. And that's what you want to click on. You don't want to open the app directly. But anyways, over here, again, we have loads of ringtones too. So we have... Harry Styles. We can go ahead and tap on install any one of these. And you guys can see right here it says open in GarageBand. So basically creates a GarageBand file for you, which is what we're going to be doing. So tap on more. And then you'll see GarageBand there at the bottom. All right, so I just want to show you guys and give you many options to download ringtones. Now, let's get to the part with the GarageBand so you guys are not confused anymore. So anyways, I'm just going to add this to my home screen just to make everything a little bit easier. And let's going to open it up. All right, so welcome to GarageBand. Hit continue. From here, hit continue again. Notifications, I'm going to hit don't allow. And once you are at this screen, you simply want to swipe over until you see audio recorder. So there it is. Microphone, it doesn't matter unless you want to record your voice and put it in, but I'm just going to hit don't allow. And then just hit OK. All right, so anyways, all you want to do is tap on this little grid icon right over there it looks like bricks and once you do it'll bring this timeline up from here all you're gonna do is tap on this little loop and then go to files wherever it's stored you could also hit browse files app so i'm just gonna go all the way back because i saved mine on my iphone uh where is it oh okay there it is tap on it and it will populate over here just give it a little second all you want to do is tap and hold on it and just drag it into your timeline. All right, so from here, again, the ringtone can be a maximum of 30 seconds long. So we're gonna go ahead and change that right here. So you'll see this little plus icon. You wanna go ahead and tap on that. And from here, we want to adjust the bars to 30. For 30 seconds, it's 30 bars. Anyways, you guys can see now it's at 30. We're just gonna hit done. And you guys can see at the top now, it is at 30. So that's exactly what we want. Anyways, tap on the blue metronome icon to make the metronome tick, 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 tick sound turn off. And by the way, if you did do a screen recording or you just wanna use a certain part of a song. So if you want to cut out the back, tap on it and just move around that slider. Again, we just wanna make it 30 seconds. So I'm just gonna zoom out and make it the full 30 seconds and make sure there's not a space in the beginning. Otherwise there'll be a blank space when your ringtone plays. So now go to the beginning over here and just go ahead and play it just to make sure everything is working correctly. That's the ringtone. Let's go ahead and hit pause. And from here, let's go ahead and set it as a ringtone. So all I gotta do is hit this little arrow over here. Once you do, click on my songs. All right. And once you do, it'll start saving it. This part may take some time. So just be patient. All right. So it is done now. So you guys can see right there. Now, if you want to rename it, just tap and hold on it. Hit rename. And you could name it whatever you want. So I'm just name this one NCS. Boom. Just like that. But anyways, from here, all you want to do is tap and hold on it again. Share. So tap on share. So we're going to select ringtone. And it's like that. Hit continue. And again, you can change the name over here as well. Export on the top right. And just like that, your ringtone has successfully been exported. Now, from here, you can even use sound as over here. And you can just automatically make your standard ringtone, your standard text tone, or assign it to a specific contact. But I'm going to show all you guys how to do it manually in settings too. So if you want to change it later. So open up your settings app. Scroll down to sounds and haptics so it should be down over there boom and over here you want to select ringtone and you can select the ringtone over there so there it is ncs and it works the haptics too so and it's so cool and this is now my ringtone so you can have any song as a ringtone too and by the way to delete any ringtone it's very simple again over here in ringtones all you want to do is swipe on it and hit delete and it will remove the ringtone all right guys enjoy your free ringtones and set any song as ringtone on your iphone hope this video was helpful if it was please be sure to like and share and also subscribe for many more fire videos this is the tech spot peace out